Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the oxidation number of the central metal atom in a complex and now in this case we are going to talk about the calculation of the central metal atom's oxidation number in a complex. So now let us understand how we can calculate it. So friends, here we are going to talk about the calculation for the center metal atoms oxidation number in a complex. So now let us understand the first one that is we have this compound. So now let us understand that how we can calculate the oxidation number. But for that, so here we can find that is there are primary as well as the secondary entities. So in this case, this NO3 or we could also call it as that is the nitrate ion which are basically acting like a primary entity over here. So we have to basically we have to differentiate this thing. So whenever this complex it will get ionized. So therefore it will ionize in the form of Cr NH3 six times and obviously it will dissociate into that is three moles of NO3 minus ion. So therefore the nitrate has basically minus one charge and based on this we have discussed this in the previous topic also that is the types of ligands so which we have got to know that is the NO3 has in that is minus one charge on it. So based on that we have to satisfy the primary as well as the secondary valency so in that case this will acquire a positive charge that also three plus positive charge on this complex ion and now it is the next task that is what we have to do is we have got to know about the charge on this complex that is on this complex ion so the thing is we have to consider this complex that is CrNH3 six times having a charge of three plus on it so now it is very much easy to calculate so the total number of atoms in this complex ion is basically Cr. For NH3 that is we have 6 moles of NH3 that has been associated as a ligand with the central metal atom in this case it is chromium and the overall charge it has been found to be 3 plus. But we also understand that is the NH3 that is the ammonia is a neutral ligand so that's the reason the charge on it or the oxidation number on it it would be 0. So therefore 6 into 0 is equals to 3 plus but for that we have to also calculate the central metal atoms oxidation number so suppose if I am considering this as x so in that case I have got to know that is the central metal atoms that is the chromium oxidation number in this case it has been found to be 3 plus. So this is how we can calculate and this is how we have got the central metal atoms oxidation number. But we have to also represent it. So we could represent it in the form of that is Cr with the Roman number of 3. So therefore this is nothing but the oxidation number of the chromium. And now let me talk about the next one. So friends talking about the next complex this is FeCO5 that is pentacarbonyl iron. So talking about how can we calculate the oxidation number. So in this case basically we can find that is there are no primary entities over here and that's the reason that this ion will not get ionized. This complex will not get ionized and that's the reason that it is very much easy to find now. So therefore the number of atoms that is what we have is Fe plus 5 times of carbonyl group and the overall charge of this complex is 0. So for that we also know that is the carbonyl are basically the neutral ligands so that's the reason that we could say that is the charge on the neutral ligand is basically zero. So we could also say that is the oxidation number of the iron in this case it has been found to be zero. So therefore we could write the oxidation number as this also. So therefore this is how basically we can calculate the central metal atoms oxidation number. So now let us move on to the next one. So the next one that is what we have is K4 in the complex basically we can find that is central atom that is Fe and 6 moles of that is we could say that is cyanide. But this compound can ionize yes this compound can ionize into the following ions where we could get that is 4 moles of K plus which will acquire that is a positive charge on the K plus as we have understood that is four moles of positive charge are on the primary entity but on the complex we could get that is four minus charge so based on that we have to calculate the central metal atoms oxidation number so therefore we are not considering this one we will consider this one over here so therefore we have fe cn6 having a charge of four minus so therefore this is what our main concern is and here basically if you talk about the ion or the type of complex this is a anionic complex and for that the number of atoms that it has is Fe 
plus six moles of cyanide group and the overall charge of the complex in this case it is found to be minus four so therefore we could say that is suppose if we have to calculate the oxidation number of fe but we also understand that is the cyanide is a negatively charged ligand which acquires a minus one charge so therefore on calculation we could get that is minus four plus six in this case it has been found to be two so therefore the oxidation number of the central metal atom that is the fe in this case it has been found to be two so now let us move to the next one so the next complex that is what we have is this one and based on the charge on it or the net charge on it we could say that this, this is nothing but the cationic complex so now let's come back to the main point that is the total number of atoms that is what we have over here on the total number of groups that is what we could see that is it is it is cobalt plus h2 plus cyanide group and two moles of ethylene diamine and the overall charge it is found to be plus two but since we have to calculate the oxidation number of cobalt over here so therefore i would consider this as x but h2 it is found to be a neutral ligand so therefore the overall charge for h2 is zero for cyanide it is minus one for ethylene diamine again it is a neutral ligand so that's the reason there will be no charge exhibited by the ethylene diamine and it is overall plus two so if this minus one it of course there obviously we know the calculation how to do so therefore it would be two plus one so now in this case it has been found to be three so therefore the oxidation number of the cobalt in this complex iron it is found to be three so now based on that let me do the next one so here we have another complex of the cobalt and in this case again it has been found to be a cationic complex so coming back to the point that is we have cobalt we have two moles of bromine atom that are been in the secondary uh, entity and talking about the next one that is ethylene diamine is also present and even that is two moles of ethylene diamine are surrounding the central metal atom that is cobalt over here and the overall charge is found to be plus one so since we have to calculate the oxidation number of cobalt so therefore we could take it as x bromine atom and in this case suppose whenever it will get ionized it will acquire a minus one charge and we also understand that is this is a negatively charged ligand so therefore the charge on it it will be minus one talking about ethylene diamine it is a neutral ligand so therefore the charge on it it will be zero multiplied by two and in this case it is plus one so if you calculate so therefore we could get that is, this is minus two and if this minus two will go over there it will be plus two so therefore plus one and this is plus two so therefore again the oxidation number of the cobalt in this complex it has been found to be three plus so therefore we could say that is the cobalt has an oxidation number of three in this complex so now let us talk about the last one so here we have the another example and in this case we have that is chromium as a central metal atom and talking about this complex this complex has an overall charge of zero we could say that is this is nothing but a neutral complex so talking about the next one that is we have chromium we have three moles of ammonia that are surrounding the central metal atom we have three moles of chlorine atom that are surrounding the central metal atom and in this case the overall charge is found to be zero so talking about the chromium so we have that is the nh3 as a neutral ligand so therefore it will have a charge of zero talking about chlorine atoms we understand that is it is a ligand which is having a negative charge and the charge is minus one so therefore three multiplied by minus one so three multiplied by zero is zero and that's the reason that we could get the oxidation number here as plus three or we could write it as chromium three so this is how basically we can calculate the oxidation number of the central metal atom in a complex. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have got an idea that is how to calculate this calculation. And I hope I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.